Hello, welcome to this ONDR module video. 100 special edition, fully loaded XJs and XKs. This is video 166 in our series of XK videos. And in this video, we're gonna concentrate on the Jaguar XKR100 factory special edition. This is not to be confused with the XK8 XKR model name X100. It is a distinct uh, special edition on its own which is actually shared with the XJR as well. But we'll go into more detail shortly. Um, there are lots and lots of limited edition XKs, XKRs, X100s, be it factory, dealer or aftermarket. And in this particular video, we're going to cover the 100 uh, limited edition. And in that, we're going to do um, a series of sections as we do normally, give a bit of a structure to the video so we can detail uh, all the things you want to know, the features, performance, uh, the nitty gritty, if you will, how many were made, what the costs were, etc. And in that, we're going to split it up into four sections. The summary, a quick review of the overall uh, limited edition, why it was uh, put out. Uh, section two, then the XKR specification. Uh, section three, then the XJR specification, which is a bit unusual for us. We're not, normally only interested in the XKs, but we're going to do a little bit of detail on the XJs. It only seems fit. And finally, uh, section four, the brochure pack that gives you all the nitty gritty detail. We'll run through that very quickly. So if you want uh, any specifics that I don't already cover, you should be able to look yourself through the brochure. OK, so first of all, the summary. So this was a limited a build of 500 special editions, all black XKR coupe or convertible, the total number 500, as I say, black on black. And it was also a limited runoff 500 uh, Jaguar XKRs, again, all black. Now, the idea of this was it's another marketing uh, bit of spiel, but it was celebrating Jaguar Cars Creators 100 year anniversary, uh, Sir William Lyons. Now, Sir William Lyons actually died in 1985. These cars came out in 2001, so it's a bit tentative. But uh, it was the celebration of it's what was, in theory, his 100th anniversary of uh, the founder uh, of, uh, of Jaguar and also the co-founder co of the company that became Jaguar Cars, uh, Swallow Side Cars, that he, um, he uh, started with William Wormsley. Okay, so section two then, the XKR specification in detail. So, as I say, it's limited to 500 cars, coupe and uh, cabriolet com uh, combined. The estimated volume across the world was roughly 300 were exported to the USA, about 160 in the UK, and 40 for the rest of the world. Um, the first VIN number... I so said these were all late model year 2001 cars with all the options, including the R performance kit, which you'd be really interested in. Uh, the first VIN number was June 2001, um, number A23312. That's the Holy Grail car. And uh, the model year 2002, for your interest, uh, actually only came about a month later in July uh, 2001 with... Uh, model uh, VIN number A24196. Obviously, the, there was 500 ca cars built between those two VIN numbers. They weren't sequential VINs because Jaguar didn't build them all in one lump. They were scattered between those sort of 1,000 cars or so. It was 800 cars, I think. Um, they're all the same colour. Um, they've all got the same colour exterior and interior, and they're all black on black. They have a unique Jaguar XKR X100 bonnet badge, as you see here, in silver, red, and black. They all share 20-inch Montreal BBS split rim alloy wheels. Uh, if you're interested, the front wheel details are the 9-inch wide, uh, 255 by 35 tires. They have the red 3D growler centers, the Brembo four-pack calipers, Silver and red script on the caliper itself. There were some later cars were were red, but uh, this specific special edition were all silver with red script, and they had the the cross drilled uh, discs or rotors. 
real sports package. The rear wheels, the same. Obviously, with uh, the Jaguar XKs, they're all, most of the cars are staggered, so the wider at the rear, 10-inch wide wheel at the rear, 285 by 30 tires. The same th red 3D growlers, Brembo brakes, silver script, the, the, the same as the front wheels. The engine then was a standard, I say standard, supercharged AJ28 engine producing 370 bhp coupled to the uh, five-speed auto. 0 to 60 in uh, 5.2 seconds for the uh, coupe and 5.3 seconds for the convertible, limited to 155. If you're contemplating buying one of these cars, you can be have some comfort in these cars all add steel liners. There's no nickel seal problems, and that this is uh, they're all produced after the metal tensioner issue. They all have metal tensioners fitted, so quite a reliable engine in the uh, X100 range. They all had cat suspension with our performance steering and handling pack in the uh, case of the coupe. They they were all f very well specced up. They got auto headlights, rain sensing wipers, photochromic folding mirrors, electro folding mirrors. Uh, interior then is a warm charcoal leather interior. As I say black carpet, black mats. If you like black cars, this is a special edition for you. Uh, they had unique Jaguar XKR 100 tread plates and sil uh, stroke sill covers. They had grey stained bird's eye maple wood veneers. Um, as you can see here, these look cream. But I'll show you a photograph of the XJR, which gives a good example of how these um, veneers really badly faded. And um, they really need restoring back to the grey colour, because this is not the original look. This is the faded 20-year-old look. They're badly faded veneers, but they are the original ones. You know that because it's got the unique Jaguar XKR 100 uh, script on the passenger side airbag. Um, interestingly, this was the first use of aluminium dial surrounds, etc. in the Jaguar production car. There had been an aftermarket thing, but Jaguar uh, then incorporated them on this car and in later models. They have a, an R embossed driver's airbag, all part of the arts um, uh, uh, safety system which I've detailed in previous videos but very advanced safety airbag and restraint uh, technology. Um, they have the Recaro front seats this is the first application of the, these Recaro sports seats with very very high side bolster support embossed with Recaro in the integral headrest. The, the rear seats are Recaro as well it's very very tight in the rear due to the larger the other the depth of the back of the front seats is far more larger than the uh, the original Jaguar seats and uh, it's very tight in the rear, uh, even in the coupe. I mean, the convertible, there must be no leg room whatsoever. They were all fitted with Jaguar sat-nav as standard. They all have Alpine premium audio fitted, albeit you can't tell by the, looking at the head unit. But you can tell because you can see on the uh, door tweeter covers the Alpine logo. They all had mono, mon, sorry, mon, mono, 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 uh, leather gear knob with the R inscription on the, the metal ferrule there. Very nice piece of kit. They all have the cup holders, love them or, <laughs> or loathe them. They all had the uh, integral hook cup holders in the centre armrest. There was uh, very little options on this car, but one was the Motorola mobile phone in the armrest. They all had the aluminium rubber pedal, uh, pedal uh, foot rest set. Obviously, in from model year 2000, they all had the uh, trunk storage net. It's not particularly special. The DVD sat nav and CD disc changer can be seen in the luggage compartment as is the red alloy space saver, as required with all the 20-inch PBS wheels and Brembo pack cars. They all had uh, reversing park sensors, which was a dealer fit up to this point, but I believe it was a factory fit for this particular model. Uh, the cost knew then. They cost £69,950 for the coupe, or £86,330, sorry, uh, dollars. 
and uh, £74,950 for the convertible or $98,330. As I say, very, very expensive luxury cars. There are only really three options. I say this was a full, these are the fully, most fully loaded uh, cars uh, at the time. The, the only options were surprisingly the uh, air filtration or cabin filter was an option. Um, a first aid kit and the mobile phone, as we spoke earlier. So that's it for the XK specification. What about the XJ? Um, so let's have a look at that. It's not completely the same. There are lots of similarities, but there are little uh, differences. So again, they're all black on black with the same engine and performance as the XJR and the XKR. Mm, almost. They had the stainless mesh grills as were um, seen on the XKR. Um, again, 500 off made worldwide. Um, the XJ model was codename uh, X308 at this point, covering all the um, XJ models of that time. The estimated build numbers again was um, 500, but uh, the export was roughly 300 to the US. Uh, I think it's about 100, or I think it's uh, found somewhere 82 uh, to the UK, and 108 uh, equates to the rest of the world. I'm not really sure with both these models whether they actually made the full 500. It's not clear. They do it. That, I think that was the aspiration of Jaguar at the time, but I'm not sure they actually sold 500 cars either with the XJ or the XK uh, models. But here we go. They all had reversing sensors as the uh, the XK. They're all um, anthracite black. Um, in the case of the XJ, they had 19-inch Montreal BBS split rim alloys. I'm not quite sure when they, why they went for the smaller wheel, but they did. Uh, the front and rear wheels are actually the same. Uh, there's no staggered wheels on the XJ. They are 8.5-inch wide, uh, uh, wrapped in uh, 255 by 35 tyres. Again, the 3D... Red growler centers, the Brembo calipers, uh, silver with red script, and the cross drill discs. So, again, the sports package on the brake and wheels. Uh, you will need to check if you're actually thinking about buying one of these cars, check you get the valve kit. Uh, if you've got any BBS alloys, you'll be aware of this little pouch you get with two keys and two valve adapters and two spare caps. Uh, if you haven't got one of those, you're going to struggle when you have to check your tire pressures. Um, one interesting, the XJR came with a tilt and slide front sun sunroof, something that wasn't available with any of the X100 cars, unfortunately. Something to do with the roof uh, structure. There was unique badging, again, XJR100 rear badging. The unique XJR100 tread plate sill covers, actually in the front and the rear, the passenger uh, and driver side. So the uh, four sill covers all had the 100 uh, logo. Again, grey stained bird's eye maple veneers. But you can see here, you can start to see the fading on the, on the centre panel compared to the outer panels. And if you take a look at the gear surround, you can see to the right hand side, it's actually quite a different grey. It's quite a nice grey. And I think this was the aspiration of the original cars. This was what it should have been. A nice grey wood look or uh, basically grey stained bird's eye maple. So that was the original look. So a lot of these cars have this sort of uh, creamy brown veneer, but they should have been um, a, a lovely a dark grey or a light grey to start with, a bit more sporty. As you see with this uh, XJ, there's no aluminium pack, but it does share the same steering wheel and gear knob, albeit you can see on the gear knob the red stitching, which... Uh, is something that's uh, carried through this car uh, with all the interior. I, they didn't actually do the red stitching on the uh, XK, uh, XKR100. I think partially because it had already been done with the Silverson Special Edition a year earlier, so it didn't really differentiate the two cars. They'd already, they'd already spent that particular gizmo. They have a premium Alpine Audio with DVD set uh, base sat nav again with a very small screen unfortunately 
They have warm charcoal auto, lo auto lux leather sport seats with perforated center panels, so they're not quite as sweaty as a <laughs> full leather. Um, unfortunately, no Recaro front seats. There are uh, there are bolstered sport seats, but they're not Recaro. They had the heated front and rear seats, which is a bit of a bonus for your passengers. Again, uh, it shares the same uh, standard supercharged XJ28 engine. As I say, 370 bhp, 5-speed auto, same as the other cars. 0 to 60 in this case is uh, 5.3 seconds, uh, limited to 155, which again is the, basically the same performance as the uh, XJR convertible. Again, steel liners, metal tensioners, really, really reliable engine. It does have cat suspension, but there's no steering or handling pack as you got with the X100 Coupe, uh, uh, the X XKR100. The cost new then um, was £58,935 or £78,780. Quite a considerable amount cheaper than the XKR100 Coupe, about £1,000. Sorry, ten thousand uh, pounds in UK money. So it's um, the cheaper option to get into this special edition, but uh, it's n by no means the slouch. The optional extras, again, not very many. It's a fully kitted car. The optional extra extras were basically the first aid kit and the rear sun blind, which is quite a nice uh, sort of uh, early two thousand gadget to have. Okay, section four then, UK brochure pack. Now this is for anybody interested in the actual where I got all the details from. And uh, this is basically a list of references. So the uh, there was a sales brochure for the XJR100, XKR100 Special Edition. I bought that. It's called Art of Performance. Uh, includes both XK, uh, XKR and XJR specs. It's a full, full color brochure uh, cover, sort of card cover, really nice, big, bold, fully detailed pictures. Um, the reference number of this particular brochure pack is uh, JLM slash 10 slash 02 slash 02. And in there's um, it's larger than A4, H, eight page paper information and specif specification pack held within the uh, card outer. But don't be fooled by the green look of these cars. When you get the brochure, the cars look green. You expect to get a, like a British Racing Green Special Edition, especially uh, given the number plates are actually green. All these cars are black on black. Anthracite black outers, warm charcoal uh, interiors. So let's have a quick uh, look at these reference materials. So here you have the X. KR100. I'm just going to go quickly through these. If you want to look at all the details, read them at your leisure, you can press pause on the video and uh, zoom in or whatever. So this is a specification step by step. Uh, here we have the sports pack, aluminium pack, XKR100. Then we got the performance and the engine, the weight, fuel consumption, etc. And you got the dimensions of the uh, coupe and convertible. Moving on to the XJR100, again, as they had a few particular things that were different. 19 inch wheels had XKR100 badging on the rear, distinctive red contrast stitching, and obviously heated rear seats, things that the XJ, uh, XKR didn't have. A bit more about the sportiness of it. And uh, then we got more reference. This is the mechanical and exterior spec. This is the interior spec and all the options, etc. I say there wasn't any. And then we got the engine performance, fuel consumption, weight, and tires, and finally the dimensions. So there you go. That's all the uh, brochure pack for you. Um, I'd like to thank um, CollectingCars.com and AlumLimited.com and JaguarHeritage.com for all the pictures and the information I've. I've used to build this video. I've used some old car adverts and served the internet for, for as much information as I could to put this, hopefully a good stab. Uh, I could do his spelling heritage right. A good stab at this video uh, for the uh, X, 
XKR 100 Special Edition. If you're interested in special editions, this one was out about 100. There's lots of others I've got to do. I've done the Silverstone, Strathstone, Sterling Moss, Black Cat, Typhoon Tempest, uh, Z-Max. But there's a lot more to do. So if you're interested in more, please uh, subscribe to the channel. There's more to come. And uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please like, comment, share and subscribe if you'd like to see more XK8 videos.